Luke, we saw you out there with Severson, then taking some reps with the top power play unit. If you are given the opportunity to play in the playoffs, what would you like to prove and show in that first appearance? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just, you know, pretty, playing my game and, um, you know, really um, having fast transition with my legs and um, with my passing ability. So um, I think, you know, that's kind of one thing I can uh, help this team with, um, you know, my, my transition game and, you know, really playing fast and, you know, getting back to pucks and, um, you know, helping in the breakouts and, um, in the neutral zone and then, you know, doing my thing in the offensive zone. So, um, you know, if I got the opportunity, um, you know, I'm, I'm very ready. I'm very prepared. What's the biggest thing that you've learned in the past few weeks being with a pro team, being able to train with them, practice with them, everything? Yeah, I mean, I think the um, biggest thing is intensity, um, how, how big of a difference the intensity is around the rink and, um, you know, during practice and during the game. So um, you got to be really intense and ready to go whenever. So, um, yeah. Anything surprise you in these first two games against the Hurricanes? They're such a good team, structured team. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing is they're just above um, all game. So I think, you know, having a fast transition game could um, you know, hopefully undermine that a little bit. But, uh, you know, I've noticed they're above all night. You know, they use their matchups really well. Um, you know, they capitalize on if like all, if not all, their opportunities. Um, they're a very patient team. But, uh, but when they get their chance, they're, they're really deadly. So. Do you notice like a, a real for, a hard forecheck by them as well, Luke? Yeah, I think you know they come really hard with you know two guys, and um, you know they, I think they've given us a little bit of trouble as, as I think we've all seen. So um, you know I think yeah they're they're heavy, they're heavy on pucks, they're fast, they're above, and um, you know I think we got to do a good job game three, um, you know, get above them and, and playing fast. Do you almost have to keep your head on a swivel when uh, the puck goes in your end? Uh, I mean, I haven't played yet, but uh, um, I, I mean, with everyone you do, you know, so I think, you know, every team's really fast on, uh, on their forecheck and really heavy, so um, you definitely got to play fast and, um, you know, know your, know your options before you get the puck. What have you learned about the momentum swings of a playoff series and what have you seen from just this group going through it? Yeah, I think obviously we're, we're a really young team, but, uh, you know, I think... It's definitely crazy you see, you know, especially with the Rangers series, you're down two nothing, everyone's like, Oh man, like we we gotta dig ourselves out of the hole and then, you know, we go up three two, um, three three going into game seven, a lot of emotion and then obviously coming off a really big game seven win, um, you know, you know, not playing our best, uh, the the first two games and we're in the same position. So, um, you know, I think we gotta drag ourselves out of the out of the hole and um, you know, keep packing away. How can your experience playing with Michigan going, you know, so far in your collegiate career into the postseason, how can that help if you are given the opportunity? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That. <laughs> I think every one of these guys have more experience than me. So, um, you know, I only have two games played and, um, you know, obviously um, went really far in, in college, but that's that's a different different ballpark. So, um, you know, I think I've learned a lot. The guys have been great. The coaching staff's been great, um, you know, really working with me. And, you know, I feel very prepared to play if, if I get called upon and, um, you know, I'm very ready. You've, you've been kind of waiting for this moment too since the end of the regular season in talking to you. Is it, is it excitement? Is it, if you do get the chance, is it excitement? Is it nervousness? What, what, what's kind of going through your mind? Um, so I think it's definitely excitement. I don't really get nervous for, I get ner more nervous watching the games. That's what I've, that's what I've learned. So, um, I got really nervous in the stands and, um, you know, no nerves out there. So I think, uh, you know, if I got called upon, I, I'm very excited and definitely ready to play. Is Jack looking like a hockey player now with that tooth? I feel bad, but, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I think, yeah. yeah. So I think he, uh, that's a tough bounce he took, so. Were you in the stands for Game Seven? Oh yeah. Was a, so it being in the stands there, you know, with the kind of you know reaction this, this crowd can get and how much these fans can pump you guys up. I mean, how exciting is that for tomorrow afternoon? Uh, personally, it's super exciting. I think you know the one game I played here, I heard the Luke <laughs> chance, and um, you know I think that was that was awesome. The fans have been great, um, you know, through every every game, and they've been really loud. I think they've helped the guys out a ton. So um, you know, it's fun playing at home for these guys, and you know, hopefully me. So. We've seen that fourth line in the regular season be nicknamed the impact line. And now in the playoffs, you all are really stepping up. What has worked so well in the postseason with the three of you? Um, I think we keep things pretty simple. And I think sometimes that can be uh, more effective. I think uh, when you're struggling, especially as a group, I think if you kind of simplify things, uh, that tends to work out.
And for you, just to get confidence knowing that the three of you can contribute on the score sheet against a tough Carolina team, what has that lifted you all with? Yeah, it's good for the whole group, I think, if the fourth line can contribute. I know um, the three of us have had confidence in the past. We've had a lot of it. And, um, you know, we haven't been able to play together all year, and we've had injuries and all kinds of other stuff we kind of had to deal with. But um, we're together now. We're feeling pretty good, so it's a positive. What has Carolina done that has allowed them to be so dominant with puck control throughout these first two games? They're just, you know, they're so well connected. I know, you know, we that's kind of a buzzword we like to use, and um, that's their whole identity. They're uh, obviously one of the best team teams that, that you'll see in the whole league, and we knew that coming in, and, and it's tough. It's just, it's, it's tough on a team, uh, you know, they trust each other out there, and they play so hard. So, um, you know, it's just making adjustments and adapting to it. That connective word is something that we've heard about the Devils team. How do you all get back to being connected in this first game at home in this series? Well, again, trusting each other. I think um, you know we feel confident in this building, and we're excited to play in front of our fans again. So um, it was two nothing in the last series, and uh, you know we're able to say we've been in this spot before, and we feel we feel good about it. Yeah, and what did you learn in that first spot in the first round to bring into the second round, knowing that you're in the same position? A ton of momentum swings through a series. I think um, you know obviously it's it's in their favor right now, but you can turn around pretty quick, and then you know we find a way to win a game, and we're right back in it. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Update on Ryan Graves. Uh, upper body. Yeah, it looks like he'll be out. And when you just look at some of the areas that you want to clean up from that second game, we've heard from some of the players about missed coverage. What do you want to see out of them tomorrow? Yeah, you know what? We, we've been such a good team with discipline when it comes to our play away from, from the puck. I thought uh, we got careless, we got reckless, we got impatient. Um, and it cost us uh, the last couple minutes in the second period. So uh, it's something that you got to stay with. You can't let things bother you inside of a game. Uh, and I think, you know, one thing led to another, and all of a sudden we had two or three goals scored on us. Being at home, is this something that uh, you get, you know, get that energy from the home crowd? It's something I maybe mean, the team really needs right now at this point in the series? Well, you know, I think we've been here before pretty recently. Uh, we played a, a real good game five, game seven. Uh, the energy in the building is something that I think uh, their team built off of and will build off of the energy in our building. But you have to play well, too, at the same time. Uh, so I think it will be yeah, something that will give us a little added boost. Does that help a little bit that you guys have been through it? You guys came back from 0-2 the last round, and now you're in this spot, but maybe the belief is a little bit better than maybe for another younger group that hasn't gone through it yet? Well, it focuses winning on what, just winning one game. You know, one game changes everything dramatically. So tomorrow's game is, for us, is, is just a huge game to, to win. The players talked about this after the game last night, Lenny, that in just about maybe all phases, every player just needs to bring it up a notch, bring it up another level. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Um, you know, some guys haven't been here before. Um, it is what the playoffs is about. It, if you think you you can play the way you played in the regular season. Not going to get it done. Um, you got to find another gear. You got to find another level of passion. You got to find another level of intensity. Uh, that's skating. That's battling, and that's attention to details when it comes to playing defense. He just announced that Ryan's not going to play. You've got a couple of choices who could go in. Who might replace him? Luke Hughes is going to go in. What would you expect to see out of Luke Hughes? What should he? Could he's bring. Skate. We know he's going to skate. Uh, he got a little taste there at the end of the year. Uh, really feel that the skating can uh, help us. Uh, so excited to see him uh, get in and play. You guys have made adjustments at different points. You know, you made an adjustment in Game Three of the Rangers series. Does a younger group respond better to adjustments, maybe than than a more veteran group? Or you could argue we made adjustments for Game Two and it didn't work out. So um, we're going to have to make some more. I think the the tail of the tape is just what we talked about. Uh, the level of uh, compete, the level of skating, the level of how you defend has to go up. What has the fourth line brought to this series and last series? They've said that they've played simple. What have you seen out of them? They pretty well have got to the puck first, have won battle. They they've are the one line that really has raised their level of play. Um, you know, bigger physical guys, but it uh, it comes down to determination. Last night when we spoke about the goaltender, 
Um, it seemed like Akira, at, at, in that second period, everyone was kind of off in that period. You made mention of that, Lindy, but um, it seemed like that was maybe the first time we saw him a little out of sorts. Would you say that's fair or? I think that's fair. I, you know what? The the analysis, the team was out of sorts. Like I used, we ran out of patience. Um, we got reckless, we got careless. Um, and I think that reflected on everybody. Is there a possibility that we might see VTech? Um? There is a possibility, yes. How much is that, you know, I mean, they've mentioned before that they've had a really good relationship throughout these playoffs, then, you know, times in the regular season, too. I mean, how much is that nice that in this moment maybe Akira gets to lean on VTech and VTech got to do it, in, you know, in the last round? I think any time you can have a, you know, positive relationship where two guys can push each other, rely on each other, uh, it's a great environment. Uh, it, it helps make each other better. Uh, and I think uh, we've seen that throughout the year. And uh, V's attitude has been incredible. Uh, you look at Akira, he was here, um, got sent down, went down, played hard, came back up, things turned out well. So um, you never know when your card's going to get pulled. I know uh, you talked about you know being down 0-2 before, but and I guess some of the players talked about this, this is a little different, right, than being down 0-2 to the Rangers than against this Carolina team that they've, been, that they've shown in these first two games? There's no different. They have two wins, and we have, we have none. So it's the same for me. One of the things they've done very well is they've dumped the puck and then, then got right on top of you really hard. Do you have to move it out of there faster? We have to get there faster. Um, and part of that is our, our forwards got to help us. They got to get in the way more. Uh, they got to cut people off, buy time, buy that extra one second for the D to get there. Uh, the whole premise of breaking out fast is five guys helping each other out, uh, staying connected, knowing where your outs are, knowing that if I give this guy an extra second, uh, this is the play that's going to be available. Jack was talking a lot about Luke's ability to stay calm and move the puck really well. How could that be an advantage going up against Caroline after the team needs more of that? Well, you know, for Jack to say that about his brother and he's going to play in his first NHL Stanley Cup playoff game, I think is awesome because you, you don't really know what to expect. If you can stay calm, and, and I think that's the part that we didn't pass the test on. Uh, we played a real, real strong first period, didn't get rewarded. We just had to stay with it. Even at one nothing, 2 nothing, you just have to stay with it. Well, we've been a team that throughout the year has had the ability to come back, whether it's one goal, two goal, but play the right way and wait for that opportunity. And we've had a lot of payoffs where we've done the right thing and, and not put a lot of risk in our game. Thank you, Andy. Players were saying yesterday that everyone needs to kind of take it to another level in just about every area. You agree with that pretty much? Yeah, I mean, uh, we haven't played our best hockey, so, uh, you know, we did, we did it again. We dug ourselves a hole, and now it's time to work, ourse work ourselves out of it. Why is this series different, though, Jack, than, than that Rangers series? Yeah, just a different team. You know, they uh, think the Rangers rely on their power play a lot, and, you know, their goaltending, obviously, they had a really good goalie. So uh, I think we took it to them 5-5, five and five, but, you know, uh, Carolina, they got four four lines that go deep, and you know they play they all play the same way, and they're on top of the puck, and uh, you know they worry about defense before offense. So uh, different series, but you know we're still in a, we're still in, in this thing, and uh, you know we're in a, we're in an okay spot, and we just gotta play a good game three, and you know we're back home, and we should be really excited. Talk a little bit about that being back home, getting the energy of the fans. It's almost like you guys need need this at this particular moment. Yeah, I mean. Uh, it was like it was a crazy turnaround for sure. You know, we had the the Rangers Devils rivalry. We went seven games, and then two two days later, you know, <clears throat> we were in Carolina playing there. So uh, yeah, we're back home, and you know, our fans are really excited. And you know, matchups are going to be big for us tomorrow. And um, you know, we need we need to come out and play with energy. And uh, 
be ready to go from the get-go and, you know, feed off this energy and, you know, just like they did the first two games. Is their forecheck any different than it was during the regular season? I mean, because, I mean, the fact that they're missing three guys, two, three key players, and still able to get that hard forecheck in on you guys. Yeah, like I said, uh, you know, they're a real team over there. They, uh, you know, they play the same way and, you know, I'm sure it's cliche, like next man up, every, every team says that, but, um, you know, that's a team that, that really does differently, you know, they they all play the same way and no matter how skilled you are, so um, they they did a good job the first two games of keeping us in the zone, but, you know, we got a really good team too, we were one point behind them the, the whole year, so uh, we had a good team in our own right and, you know, they took two at home and now it's our, our turn to come home and, you know, like I said, play with that energy and be ready to go. So Luke got there on the power play working late. Uh, if he happens to be in the lineup tomorrow, what will he bring? Yeah, I mean, I'm not the coach, so uh, I would, you know, I it looks like he might be in the lineup, but, you know, he's a guy that we need puck movers. We need guys that can transport the puck out of the zone. That's what we've been missing a bit the first two games, and Luke's a guy that can get the puck in and out of the zone and, you know, be a threat on the rush. So, um He's, like I said, he'll transport the puck. He'll be get us up and out of the zone fast. And, you know, we're a fast team, and we need guys that are moving the puck. So our D have done a good job of that all year. And, you know, obviously, you know, they've been playing really well over there for the first two games. But, um, you know, if Luke does come in, he'll be a guy that can move the puck in and out of the zone and, and get us moving fast. The fact that you guys came back in the last round from, the, you know, you said dug a hole, but... Uh, you know, came back in the last series, and you guys really found your legs after that. I mean, does that maybe change the mentality a little bit? I mean, some teams struggle when they're, you know, down like that. Yeah, I mean, um, we we didn't want to put ourselves <clears throat> in this position again, but here we are, and uh, you're not out until you lose four. So, like I said, we're back home, and it's our turn to, you know, take to them and feed off the crowd and play our game. And, you know, we're excited, and we're in a really good spot, but we got to play with some, some emotion, some heart, and, you know, come out and be ready to go. Have they done a good job of when you dump the puck in, of them getting it out quickly? Um, yeah, I mean, they, they had two really good games, you know. We had some looks, but they also, you know, they're in our face. They're uh, on top of pucks, and, you know, like I said before, that's that's just their, the system they play. You know, you, there's no odd man rushes. It's They're on top of the puck, and they got three, four guys back, and uh, we're a team that's fed off the rush all year, so... We're gonna have to uh, find a different way to create offense, and that's what we're working yeah, on. And you. you know, we got some good players, and you know, we need to step up and and be better once we get back home. The last few games, including in the Rangers series, that fourth line continues to show why it was nicknamed the impact line in the regular season. What did you see out of your group going so well? I think we're just keeping it simple and, and playing playing hard, and you know, trying to win pucks back on the forecheck and kind of create off create off the cycle stuff like that. And when you look at just the ability to be able to score, especially in tough playoff games, what has been working for you and Bashan to be able to get those goals and miles? Uh, yeah, I think just taking taking it to the net, uh, you know, kind of dropping your shoulder, taking it to the net, and they had a great goal, and and uh, you know, Miles had a, had a good goal yesterday, just going to the net and and uh, getting those areas. How can everyone clean up those defensive breakdowns that we saw that led to some big opportunities for Carolina? I think just being being more detailed and realizing every every single play uh, matters, and, and this they're a team that uh, plays plays the right way all 60 minutes of the game. So it's uh, it's something you have to be aware of, and, and you can't you can't take your foot off the gas at any point of the game. Nice to be home. Finally, get that home game here with it being down 0-2. Yeah, for sure. I think uh, you know it's great being back home. I think uh, you know with our with our fans and how they've been with us in the playoffs, it's uh, it, it it gets us going. It really does. And and you know these are these are two big games for us, obviously. Yeah. Expanding on that, what are some of the significance of making sure you get that win at home to start off? Yeah, I think obviously it's two nothing in the series. So you know, going making it two one that completely changes. You know the the look of the series, and you know we've been down two nothing before, and and uh, you know it's 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 probably the biggest game of the year, obviously, and you know our fans fans have been great, and you know they're gonna they're gonna get us going, hopefully. Is the continuity of your line? I mean, you guys put worked a lot together the last couple of years. Does that kind of help the familiarity with each other? I think uh, yeah, played together for for a while now, and uh, you know we know how each other play and play hard and. We like to just keep it simple and play hard and get get it in low.
work that way. What did you learn from being down to nothing to the Rangers that you can use this time around, that belief system that you can obviously make it a series and win? Yeah, like, uh, I don't think anyone anyone thinks we're out of the series yet. And, and you know, obviously that, that uh, goes with what we, we proved in the last one. And, uh, you know, we just need, we need one game at a time. And we're just going to start with uh, tomorrow's game. And, you know, we're looking forward to it. Thank you.